you know, we'll not be joking when it comes to giving. If you don't want to give, just go home. List of all fake pastors in Kenya. Let's stand up as we go home. You know, we'll not be joking when it comes to giving. If you don't want to give, just go home. I release the blessing as you go home. Enjoy your week in Jesus' name. Amen. And to take those baskets to the office. We are through. Mbibarikiwa. You are blessed. I will not beg people in this church to give. I'm not a beggar. Bish Kanyari. Kanyari, the leader preacher of Salvation Healing Ministry, now goes by the name Bishop Mwanji, which he says is his other name. Kanyari was in the limelight after being exposed three years ago for performing fake miracles using potassium permanganate, which turns purple when dissolved in water. He used this chemical reaction ruse to convince followers that his prayers washed away mysterious diseases by asking them to step into water and witness the disease being washed away. Surprisingly, despite all the exposed scandals about the fake prophesies and fake miracles, Kanyari has hundreds of congregants, if not thousands. Kanyari has really brainwashed and blindfolded his followers. Oh my god. Tinaduta. The mother of Victor Kanyari has quite a reputation. She calls herself the AIDS healer. That through prayers she can cure it completely. After convincing her congregation, she started to charge for her special prayers. She claims she can cure AIDS disease, which I don't believe. Dr. Michael Nurich. Apostle Michael Nurich, the founder of Fire Gospel Ministries, shot to fame in 2012 after he was exposed by former investigative journalist Mohammed Ali faking miracles. Mohammed Ali did a mind-blowing expose together with Ferdinand Omondi when they were working for NTV and revealed the dirty tricks that the controversial men of God used to fake miracles. During the expose, a lady identified as Esther Mwen disclosed how Apostle Nourij approached her with a sweet deal that she found hard to resist. The pastor would reportedly give her Ksh 2000 every time she gave a fake testimony. Mwen told Mohammed Ali that the cunning pastor told her to recruit more women to give false testimonies and they. She also told NTV how the pastor told her to pretend to be dumb.